that talk from Eric was very relevant actually to my talk. Uh, my talk is very similar about uh, generalist versus custom built, purpose built systems. Um, about two years ago, I was up on stage here where I made the analogy that uh, legacy data systems are like uh, the camera, meaning they're single purpose, they only do one thing with our data. For example, in the case of databases, they only do SQL. They do SQL very well, but it's the only thing they do. In the case of search engines, they only do search, but it's the only thing they do. And then I made the analogy that uh, what we're trying to do at Cloudera and many of us in this new generation of big data is similar to the smartphone of big data, meaning multi-purpose systems, creating systems that can do many, many things, not just one thing. So generous versus single purpose, customized, which is exactly this talk that uh, Eric just proceeded with. And the problem with uh, single purpose systems is what you can see in the slide popping up right now, is if we have single purpose systems, then every time we want to do something new, we want to do data exploration, we want to do search, we want to do machine learning, batch data, pro batch data processing, analytics, every time we have to copy our data, and reformat our data, serialize it in a new way, have a new schema, depending on the task at hand. And that creates a massive sprawl inside of our organization that makes it very hard to be agile and very hard to be able to adapt at very high speed, which is exactly the point of Eric's talk just preceding this talk. So how do we solve that problem at Cloudera? What, the way that we solve this problem is by creating the smartphone of big data. Our marketing team did not uh, like the term smartphone of big data, which I have been advocating for. And uh, they instead came up with a, with a very nice name. I actually do like the name we came up with at the end. And the name we came up uh, with at the end is called SDX, Shared Data Experience. And this is what SDX does. SDX allows us to take this vertical isolation and turn it into a horizontal generalist platform. So this way, you can uh, have multifunctions like uh, data science, machine learning, analytics, et cetera, et cetera, and then have the SDX layer in between to bridge that gap and allow you to have a common security, governance, metadata management, access control foundation that then can connect you to many, many underlying physical storage. So you can have the virtual view that is consistent across all of these different workloads. And uh, this is actually one of the key powers of our platform. It's what enables you to be agile and try new use cases. It's what enables you to both have exploration, but also have production at the same time, significantly shortening the time between coming up with a new idea to when it can make a big impact on the business. And SDX has been part of our Cloudera for a very, very long time. Despite us announcing the, the name very recently last year, we have been doing and preaching the concept of SDX for a very long time. So what is new at this conference is we are taking the concept of SDX into the cloud. And in the cloud, the problem is much worse. So in the cloud, because of these uh, temporary clusters are coming up and down all the time, you get a, a, a significant amplification in the sprawl of silos, actually. And many of them come up, do some operations, and they disappear, and the metadata disappears with them. So the problem is actually much worse in the cloud than it is compared to on-premise. So we are announcing the launch of SDX uh, beta uh, platform as a service option that keeps track of all of that metadata and access control in the cloud. And not only does it do that, it also uh, allows us to keep track of that metadata across many instantiations, ac across many cloud environments. So you can have some clusters in Amazon, uh, AWS, you can have some clusters in uh, Microsoft Azure, or even on-premise, and get a single view of how the metadata, the access control, the governance, the auditing is being changed and affected in all of these environments. So not only did that reduce the sprawl problem that we mentioned to earlier, it also makes the portability much easier between all of these environments. The same code, the same logic that you did on-premise can carry to any of these environments. And that's uh, the key message of my uh, presentation.